Yo Bledrins, welcome back to a new Lightning Quick Repairs episode. Today we're going to be showing you how to do an FRP bypass on a Sony Xperia Z5 Compact. And it should also work on a regular Z5 as well, Z5 depending on however you pronounce it. I pronounce it Z, sometimes Z, don't get at me. Anyways, this is without a computer, you could do this all on the phone itself, which is quite cool. Um, if your phone is not factory reset, make sure you use a Sony uh, Xperia Companion application to wipe the phone. Here we go. And uh, you should get to this screen here. Now, I have not connected this to Wi-Fi at all. This is the first time I'm going to be doing this. So, in order to do this, what we want to do is we want to go to Get Started and yes whatever we do actually want to connect to wi-fi here but we have to do this quick um, because it will update youtube in the background and we need that so you want to do setup as new and then i'm going to quickly connect this to my wi-fi okay let's see it's just connected right here and we would we just want to go all the way back now what we want to do is we want to hold the screen with two fingers Keep holding down accessibility Oops. canceled. Keep holding down two fingers to enable accessibility. Accessibility top back on. There we top go. Back is so back. what we want to do is back we want to draw an L. And then menu. go to talk, talk back. back settings. Talk back settings in list nine item. Scroll all the way down and go to, to 30 30. help and feedback. Help. And help. There we go. We might have to search, search. for it. Editing. Yeah. We want to type in Morse yeah. code. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Write in Morse Select. code. Showing editing. Yeah. Write in Morse code. Okay, let's turn this off. Let's turn this. Suspend talkback. There we go. Okay. So talk press back, the up and down it. volume keys to turn uh, turn off the talkback. So we want to go right here. I don't know if you just saw that there. But um, we want to look for that Morse code, that video. Press the play button. And then when it comes up with the title, press that straight away. So we're now in Chrome. No, thank you. And we want to now go on Google and type in remote team GSM H APK. There we go. Let's uh, reject all of that. Yes, yeah, this one is by Sajid, AndroidFileHost.com, this one. If you scroll down, here is the actual download link, so let's click on download here. There we go, let's download, let's update permissions, and you just want to allow that. So let's click on OK. Yeah, while that's downloading in the background, we can go on Google and type in quick short quick shortcut maker apk you want to scroll down and look for the one where it is from apk pure so go there there we go and you want to get 2.4.0 let's download the apk and let's click on ok and here we go so that's downloaded right now okay so once it is downloaded you want to go to your downloads and open up quick shortcut maker it's going to come up with this because unknown sources has not been enabled so let's enable that go to settings scroll down and then unknown sources enable that click on ok and go back and now you want to reopen this there we go and let's click on install click on open and you want to look for the settings so let's scroll down and see if we can find settings here it is and click on the first one and let's click on try and that opens up settings so now you want to look for let's see what we're looking for lock screen and security and then you want to scroll down and go to device administrators and then you want to turn Android Device Manager off. So let's press the check mark. And then we click on deactivate this device administrator. So that's off now. Okay, so let's click on back now and back. And you want to look for apps right here. So let's click on apps. And you want to show system. So this shows all the system applications. So what we are so what we are looking for right now is here we go, Google Account Manager. Here we go and let's click on full stop and disable 
So now that that is disabled, we want to look for Google Play services, which is just underneath. Same thing, full stop, disable. And let's go back. Look for the remote team GSM app. So you want to go to your storage and you want to go and explore. And it's going to show up all of this, right? So this is the internal storage. So you want to go to the download and go to remote plus GSM. It's going to come up with this. So you want to click on next and install. Okay, so that's done. So let's click on done now and go back. And we want to add a new user account. We want to add a Google account. So we can go to accounts and sync, add account. And then we can go to Google and just sign into a Google account that you don't mind using as like a burner account or whatever. So I'm going to do that really quickly. Okay, so I've just logged in right now. So I want to click on I agree. And now this will crash and that's not a problem. The remote team GSM app will crash. And now we want to actually go back to the things we disabled. So we want to go to lock screen and security. And then we scroll down and go to device administrators and we want to turn back on Android device manager. So let's uh, activate this. There we go. And then we want to go back into apps and we can go here and actually no, not here. We can go to this and then click on disabled and it shows up what we've got disabled right here. And let's enable that. Show system. Disabled. Here we go. Google account manager. Enable that. And that's it. Right. So now what we do is we just restart the phone. Okay, and let's turn talkback talk back off. Has been turned off. There we go. So now we are in the setup. So we click on get started, accept, Wi-Fi only, skip, setup as new. There we go. So it shows up my account. So we click on next. Okay, and now you could just skip all the rest of this setup. So I'm just gonna skip. Uh, I'm gonna turn all of this off. Uh, close. There we go. Next. Not now. There we go. And that's it. So now that we have got our phone bypassed and ready to go, you can see all of this stuff is crashing. And that is because we've got the Google account on our phone. So what we need to do is we need to go into the settings, go into the accounts and sync, and then remove the Google account. So let's remove that, remove account, remove account. And then we have to do a factory reset on the phone itself. So let's do that and we're gonna have to set up this phone again but that's not a problem now because once we do a factory reset you don't have to do this ever again it's fully uh, unlocked so there's no google account on there now it's a permanent bypass permanent removal and yeah so now after this is done after you go into the setup you can set this up just exactly how you want it as a fresh phone and that's it thank you very much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you found this uh, tutorial useful um, I'll leave all the links in the description down below so you can easily find them and that's it thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you again in the next Lightning Quick Repairs episode